you can see I've got a steel bar here in the chuck with some black tape wrapped around it and one of the MACTAC reflective patches on it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So for this demonstration I just went ahead and put one patch on there which limits the lowest RPM that we can display. Okay. So we've got two MACTACs here. One of them's the one that's installed in my lathe and then the one on top is the customer's MACTAC. He was having problems with it having an erratic display. So we've got a little filter here that we put on it. This is a filter that we sell on the MACTAC website. And uh, he added an um, electrolytic capacitor in addition to the two ceramic ones. I'm not sure if that actually made any difference. And then the uh, wire comes down to a plug and to a transformer that's plugged into the same power strip that my variable frequency drive is plugged into. This gray box down here has got the variable frequency drive and it's plugged right into this strip and then running it into the MacTac, MacTac. but because we got the filter on there it should be okay. So let's go ahead and start the lathe up. You can see I've got it turning pretty slow here. In fact it's turning at 70 RPM. And you'll notice the two displays are pretty much displaying the same thing. Um, the, the bottom one there is um, alternating a little bit between 69, 70, and 71. And the reason for that is my uh, layout of my patches wasn't very good on that one. But you'll notice the top one is pretty steady. But still, this is within one RPM, which is plus or minus one RPM, which is what I um, advertise for the MACTAC. So let's go ahead and start speeding this up. Okay. So we're at about 158, 59 RPMs right there, and you can see both displays are pretty much the same. So I'll go ahead and run this up. We'll run it up to high speed here. So there we have uh, 657 RPM or 658, depending which display you look at. Here's our second setup, a milling machine. And what I've done is I've taken the same steel bar with the tape on it and put it in a collet here. And then I've mounted the sensor in a vise temporarily with approximately 0.15 inches between the uh, reflector and the sensor. I only have one reflector on there. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. And you can see it's turning very slowly, and in fact it's 64 RPMs. Now I'm going to switch over to the um, customer MacTech that came back and see if it does the same. I'll leave the uh, RPM setting the same. So here we are again, same setup, single patch, IR sensor, this time we have a um, filter on this setup here, but I don't really think it's making any difference because on this particular machine it doesn't seem like the VFD noise is making much difference. And you can see again we have 64 RPMs. So while I hold the camera on here, I'll go ahead and turn this up. I'll leave that steady for a second. So you can see it's going about plus or minus one RPM. If we go up here, 
and look at the display up here, you'll see it's about the same. About one RPM faster than the other display. This display's got um, six, uh, no, 12 magnets on it, so it's slightly different. One of the things I do to test out a Mac Pack is I'll go ahead and hook it up and take a reading. You can see this is going 649, 650. And if we come over here and we look at my uh, commercial um, tachometer and I push memory where I've already taken reading, you can see it's 649.6. So that's a stored reading. I just pointed it out there just before I started the video. And we can see over here it's reading 650.